Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan. It's Tuesday, 14 September. We are looking at our swing trades here. The ES is up about 3 points, NQ is up 2. Now, yesterday was a volatile day. If you recall, the futures had indicated a nice open of about 30 points on the S&P. But uh, as soon as the market started, uh, uh, started opening and it just started going down, ultimately though it did eke out a small gain, but uh, it's a volatile time. So, you can see this downturn coming over here and today we are seeing a little bit of pressure also on this NQ just turned negative here. So uh, just a little bit of caution and so you know obviously at a time like that what, what you want to do is let's see if we can get some pointers from the VIX options. Uh, so I would go into the next week's options and look at the VIX is at 19. And uh, you can see the VIX, uh, the 19 calls are going for, uh, you know, between 150 and 2, whereas uh, the 19 puts are 85 to 1. So still there's a bias towards the calls. And if you go $1 out of the money, uh, if you look at the 20 calls, then, uh, you know, that's going for about 1.6. Whereas if you look at the 18 puts, that's, you know, it's, it's almost going for nothing there. So uh, obviously, I think there is some bias to the VIX calls. So which means... Uh, there could be some more downward pressure on the market. So I think now we see all of these trades, uh, if it's going to go below our long call, then uh, I think, you know, whatever hedge we did has done its job. So I'm going to be taking off some trades today. We've done very well this month. Uh, as you can see, even from the forget section, we've got uh, Apple here, we've got, uh, you know, Airbnb, Airbnb, of course, we had a little bit more, but, you know, you have to give them a little bit of chance. And, uh, you know, one of these, one of these trades will strike gold. Uh, in any case, Netflix, we did, uh, you know, we have struck gold. Uh, you know, the, this is a clear $10,400 profit now. Uh, Spotify is also a clear $3,500 profit. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off 1100 because you know Amazon is at 3460 so which is it's come down below our 3480 call. So in, now it'll start losing money if, it's, if, it, if the markets don't recover and if the stocks don't recover. So I'm closing Amazon. Uh, Costco is fine. Lyft is fine. PayPal I'm going to be doing an adjustment. Starbucks we just opened and Tesla is also okay. Tesla is also below the uh, uh, below the uh, long call. However, you can see the overall position is just down about 460. Now here in the forget section, we'll be taking off almost all these trades. Uh, Apple for about 1200, let's say. Uh, Airbnb 2000. Facebook, I'm going to keep it as is because that's very close to our uh, long call. Uh, Netflix, uh, it's, it, it's been coming down and so it had a nice run, it's been coming down, it's time to take this $10,400 profit. Uh, Spotify, $3,500. So totally we are looking at $14,000 plus uh, $2,000, $16,000 plus another $1,200, $17,200. Say, let's say almost $20,000 we are going to take off today on my size. So those are the five trades I'm taking off. I'm only adjusting PayPal. PayPal is also going down and uh, we need to fix this trade so that it at least has a chance of uh, coming back to break even. So what I want to do is sell the 24th September, which is about 10 days away. I'm selling the 287.5 and getting about $2.20 premium there. So that is the, um, you know, that's the, that's the adjustment on, uh, on, on, on PayPal. Now, in terms of any new trade, uh, since we are taking off five, I don't mind going into a, in, in, into a new trade. Let's take a look at booking charts because some of these have just come into the, into the bullish booking, uh, showing a little weakness here. Let's see, Win also, is, uh, it also got a couple of red dots. Starbucks, of course, we do have a trade already. Uh, Expedia, all right. Now, this is a good looking chart. You can see the five things are just about aligned over here. And today it might go down. No, it actually it's going to open right around here. Let's see what the options looks like. And uh, let's take a small trade uh, on Expedia, especially given that we are uh, sort of uh, taking off five trades. We can go in for another trade here. Okay, so I want to go to the 22nd October at least. And uh, Expedia is going to open around 147 to 148. Uh, I'll, I'll go for the 155 call, slightly less expensive and we can get a better bang for the buck if it moves up. So that's the new trade for today, 22nd October expiry, Expedia, uh, 155 long calls. Thanks.